Have you wondered how to change how you show your data by just clicking icons like these? And let's say we filter them by this category and go back to the different view. The data stays the same. Hi, I'm Naomi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make feature like this one using Jet Engine and its upcoming new feature layout switcher. Let's get it started. First, let me show you what kind of plugins we're going to use today. Elementor Jet Engine, Jet Engine Layout Switcher, Jet Engine Trim String Callback, Jet Smart Filters. Here, this one, Jet Engine Layout Switcher. This is still in beta version. And to download this, you have to go to your CrocoBlock account and Here's beta releases, and you can download this layer switcher from here. And you can just install it just like other plugins. Then I have other external, this um, add on, trim string, callback, and jet smart filters. And I assume once this is released, it's going to show up here Jet Engine's external modules because trim string, callback is here and it's installed as a plugin, so I assume it's gonna be, the layer switch is gonna be here, and it's gonna be installed as just like this, yeah, the trim string callback. This is my assumption. The first thing we have to create is listing item templates. So go to Jet Engine Listings, and add a new, and the post, post, and let's say post, uh, post grid item, well, grid list item, Elementor, all right, so let's go to settings, change the width of this area. And uh, I first, I'm going to add dynamic image here. Then dynamic field. And uh, this is going to be H3. And let's kill this um, gap here. And also advance kill the padding and give let's give padding to this dynamic field. And let's give a border to this container. Yeah, I think that's it. Update. Then Go back, go back and create a new one. And the post, post, this time it's gonna be post list. I know list, list item is weird, but you can you can decide however you wanna name it. I meant instead of a grid, it's gonna be a li list. So, but it's a list item, so I don't know. Or maybe list the listing item? Yeah, anyway, anything is fine. Here, let's separate uh, into two Columns like this. Then this one dynamic image here. Yes, just like that. Then dynamic field here. And let's make this H3. Then let's add another dynamic field here. Then let's make this content. But we don't want to show the whole content. That's why here comes callback. Um, sorry, probably you can't see, but there's a trim string by character or words here. And let's make it 140, like this. And I don't know how big this should be. Hmm. Also, this has 66%, so let's kill it. Yeah, something like this. And, uh, well, maybe we should kill the padding here as well. Then now it's uh, connected too much, so... <clears throat> Update. Then let's go back. Go back and let's start creating a page. Template, let's make it Elementor Canvas. And uh, grid list switch test. All right, then edit with Elementor. 
let's insert layout switcher so go search layout switcher drag and drop here and it says please select the listing grid to show the layout switcher so it means we have to put listing grid so listing grid just below this all right then as usual i'm going to select the template grid one okay it shows nicely all right then go back to layer switcher then select the listing grid all right then let's update and let's preview it so what happens if i click list well this is not what we expected but yeah so this is just a grid layout grid template but it's one column all right we have to fix that here you see grid and list right so go to list go to settings and here listing here you can choose different template so we created this list listing item so choose that and a column number one and go to update okay so now grid and list yeah now it's working it was very simple right you just choose a different template in here settings okay let's make it prettier all right so grid maybe we can get rid of this label and let's add an icon good one th here's th all right and uh, list let's do the same thing go to icon <clears throat> list then you can find this one yeah just looks like the template all right and what, what else we can do here uh, well let's add a new item okay then the settings let's choose default layout and default means okay if you go to here item number one settings is default layout and it's yes here so that means the default is pointing to this grid temp grid layout template so listing grid is fine but let's make it two all right then go back to content then go to icon let's go to th again there's a large th here all right let's update all right you click it so now it's two columns right and this is the uh, listing list item list listing item yeah whatever it is <laughs> so just like this even same template you can change the how many columns the layout has so i'm going to move this to here and let's style this a little bit first it's it's a very top so i'm going to add some merging well it's padding so it's merging let's say 70 yeah okay so now let's style this go to style tab you can align to let's say right you can change the gap here and the buttons icon size you can change it all right and icon space if you have a label it's going to be the space between label and icon and go to active i'm going to change the background color by active hmm. yeah something like this and you can add the borders border radius and you can change the padding here Maybe like this all right so update okay it's working and once one of the templates loads if it's just the same template but a different column number then it's so fast to switch and even this is not slow it's, this is also instant yeah this is very easy to make next we are going to add smart filters all right so go to smart filters add a new and let's make it just a like a text search and the typical this search all right and wordpress search this is good update then smart filters add a new it's gonna be a category filter all right then let's choose a checkbox and data source taxonomy categories union yep it's all good all right 
And let's go back here, refresh. Or maybe I should show you that um, each post have uh, different categories. An apple, orange, banana. These are the categories. All right. So we want to add that category. Oh, it's a little bit broken here. Somehow. Oh, it's fixed now. Well, wow, that's a mystery. Anyway, first we have to add uh, another column on the left side of this entire layout. Okay. Then let's search, search. Then drop in here. Then search again, text search. Let's choose Jet Engine, maybe Ajax on typing. So after you type three letters, it starts searching. Okay, the another one is um, checkbox filter. And a category filter. And jet engine. And uh, well, let's make it mixed. All right, I think uh, this is it. Oh well, one more. Pagination. Let's add the pagination here. All right, and select jet engine and uh, mixed update. All right, let's see. All right, it looks like this now. How about I go to second page? Third page. And if you change it, it's still keeping the same way. I mean, the same data. So only the layout is changing. It's great. Apple. I mean, this is weird, but yeah, it's working. All right, let's, I don't know what word I should search, you. Is that working, you? Yeah, I guess there's you, you, you. I guess all of them, pretty much. But yeah, but it's all working. What did you think? Isn't this neat? This is so easy to do, and it has such a potential. So please leave comments and tell me what kind of usage you can think of with this layout switcher. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.